Hi everyone! Thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. So in this video, I am going to be sharing with you all of these amazing items I was able to find at my Dollar Tree for only $1.25. I have so much to share with you, so this is probably going to be an extra long video. So if you need to pause it, go ahead, pause it, go grab something to eat, drink, grab your pet, and get a comfy seat so I can show you on these amazing items. I love to share these things with you and give you some DIY ideas along with some other ways to use these products in a different way than what they were really meant for, and some measurements here and there so you have a better idea on how big and small these items are. Now, throughout the week, I do take you to multiple Dollar Trees, and I go through the entire store, and I show you what is new. And that'll give you some ideas as well on what to look for on your next trip to the Dollar Tree. So. Let's go ahead and dive in and let me show you on these amazing items I was able to find. So I'm going to start off with these. These were over with the Crafter Square items. And this does not have a brand on it besides Greenbrier. So I do believe that is a Dollar Tree brand. And they have new shapes of these porcelain, I call them ornaments. I think these will be perfect for the holidays. Now, if you have a Cricut, you can use a Cricut on here. You can use some of the rub on transfers that the Dollar Tree does carry. You could even use some of those rub on tattoos from the Dollar Tree and do your own thing on these. So they have the house, they have a star, and I like just call it a stop sign. So yeah, and if you don't like the, the twine, the rope, you don't have to keep it on there. You can do something else. Oh, is that little Miss Ella? Oh, no, it's Ruby. Well, hi there, Booze. Come here. You want to say hi to everyone? Oh, Mommy wasn't expecting you to come down, sweetheart. What's the matter? You need to go out to go potty. Okay, just a minute. She's doing good. She's still healing. She had all her stitches taken out. Getting you. Okay. Go on, baby. Mommy's going to finish this, okay? Sorry, got distracted by my little boo-boos. In fact, let me pause this. I'm going to go take her out. Um, I'm going to do these next. I think these are really cute. They do have this in purple as well, but I just picked up the black and the orange. These are mesh pumpkins, but they do have a wired frame. They do come with the lights. Now, if you are someone that doesn't like the mesh, go ahead and cut that off and you can just use the wire form and do something else if you choose to because it looks like it's really easy to take apart. Again, these do come in purple as well. And I kind of wish I did pick up the purple because I don't have a whole lot of purple um, with my decor, but I think these are really cute. I like those. And with their Crafter Square items, they did come out with some leather pumpkin clip pumpkins, that is. I picked up the dark brown. They do have the metal clips on there. I don't know how easy the metal or the, I think these might be pretty easy to rip off. Yeah, just leaves a little hole right there. But if you are someone that doesn't need the clip, Go ahead, take the clip off, use that on something else, and you can just place these pumpkins around your house or like put them in a little basket of some sort. So I just picked up that color. They also have these pumpkins back in stock. They do come when purple, black, and the orange. Now these do have flashing lights, so if you cannot stand flashing lights, go ahead and look away now. I think these are really cool. They do go kind of slow and then they speed up and then they flash all these different colors. A great decor to keep around your house and it is a foam pumpkin. These napkins are really cool. You get 24 per pack. They are 13 by 13. These are fun to cut out and Mod Podge on different items. You could even Mod Podge it on like say one of these maybe not this size or whatnot, but they do have different sizes of these and you can Mod Podge maybe something of 
this sort on here or a vase, a plate, anything like that. I've done Dollar Trees in the past or Dollar Tree DIYs in the past using their napkins. So I think these are actually really cool and the plates that go with them as well, but I have no need for the plates. Look at this. This is a lace uh, table runner. I cannot remember the measurements. Um, I know I did it when I went through the walkthrough, but I think they're like 57 inches long. Um, but if you look really close, you can see they're like cobwebs and there's a spider right there. And this is the only color I was able to find. So I don't know if there's any other colors, but this would be something really cute that you could even cut up and do something else with it. You could even use this on this. So cut that off and this is more decorative, I guess, and wrap it around there if you want, just to change it up a little bit. Um, you could use this in a background of a scenery picture or at a Halloween party. If you didn't want to put it on the table, you don't have to use it in the background in a scrapbook even. I think these are really nice. These are monogram leaves. They do come in two different shapes um, of the leaf. They do have initials on there, but if you are someone that doesn't need that, go ahead and flip it over. There's nothing on there. So you can do your own thing if you want to. They do come with these amazing wooden beads. I really like the rustic uh, uh, look on these beads. So I just picked up the M for Mowen. I did find a couple of cool books on this trip. Um, I'm someone that loves to pick up different journals throughout the year at the Dollar Tree. This one is Make Your Mark, a journal for capturing big dreams. And this retail for $9.99. And there's just different pages that you can fill out. I think these make wonderful gifts for all ages. So I like to just pick up different journals throughout. And then the other book I picked up is The Art of Breaking Up. So on this side, it reads that. And then on the other side, it says that. So two, this is the broken heart, the broken hearted side. And this one is the heartbreaker side. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, there's, um. Oh, it's interesting. I did not look to see what it retailed for. I did not pull the sticker off. So let's see. It retailed for $27.99 in the U.S. and $34.99 in Canada. And you can get it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So grab that. All right. Again, I am just going through all this, just mixing it all up here and there. I really liked this pumpkin stack. Now these are like the other pumpkins they've carried for like uh, Thanksgiving, uh, the fall decor. They are very heavy. This one has all three of the size of the pumpkins with three different colors and it has boo written out with bones. So I really like that. I thought this sign is really cute. This says Happy Halloween Home Sweet Haunted Home and it has the galvanized ghost. They did have three different styles. Um, they had one with a witch or a witch's hat and a skeleton I do believe but I am doing a multiple DIYs with ghosts so that's why you're going to be seeing me haul different things of ghost and like boo. So keep an eye out for that video. It will be coming very, very soon. I honestly, I promise you, I have been busting my butt making all of these really cute, fun DIYs. So yeah, pick that one up. I thought that one was cute. And then the other ghost one I picked up was the Happy, uh, the Happy Halloween Boo. Now I do call Ruby Boo, like Ruby Roo, our little Boo Bear. So yes, I have to get that one. They have a, quite a few different ones of these this year. Now last year they just kind of had plain colors, but now they have it in the silver with different sands on here. This is wood or particle board. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm going to try to rip it off and 
I don't know if it's gonna come off very easy. Oh, maybe, oh, there. So if you just want a plain Jane pumpkin and do your own thing, well, there you go. You can just rip that off. You can do something else with it. It does have the glue on the back, but I'm sure you can rip that off and uh, do something else with that. Put that in a wreath and just customize that if you choose to. You don't have to keep it on the stake. You can always rip that off if you want to or cut it off. Uh, the other sign I picked up is a spooky witch and her boo haunted or haunt here. This is one of those hollow wood signs, which is really cute. Perfect size to put up on a shelf. And the other ghost item I picked up is this garland. It's 59 inches and it has the ghost pumpkin and bats. And it's the felt. And it looks like the, it's a ribbon. Now, if you wanted to use twine, you could take twine and change it up. I think I can pull these out really quick to give you a better look. And they're pretty thick too. So yeah. And if you just wanna, you don't even have to keep it on there if you don't want to. If you just wanna take the ghosts off and you can spread them throughout your room, hang them from the ceiling, do something else with the pumpkins and do something else with the bats. So you don't have to keep it like that. Just do your own thing. I thought these were pretty cool. They had a quite a few different ones to choose from. These are the ceiling decoration. It is four feet by two feet. And I went ahead and picked out the sky with the bats. So I thought that may be something, something interesting to hang up. Although I don't know how well that's going to work because I have this, bleh, the popcorn ceiling, which is, bleh, don't like it. But some of the rooms, we already scraped it off. So maybe I'll put it in one of the, those rooms. Um, or you could even maybe just hang it on your wall and not your ceiling. I don't know. We'll try it out. And then I'm going to be using this for background. Um, these are some wall decoration. It's 42 by 72. I do believe they have like five different ones. So there's that one. And then the other one I liked, which I'm going to be using this most likely for a Christmas DIY. So I went ahead and picked up the brick. Now, I think it'd be really cool if they came out with stuff like this for Christmas, like with the red and white brick or something like that. So we shall see. If not, this will work just fine. All right, moving along. Let me show you these bottles. I think these are really cool. Uh, they only had it in these two colors right here, but look how fancy these are. You could, there, you can, I don't know what, what would you put in there? Would you put maybe some, I don't know, some bath salts in here or fake flowers or, I mean, I don't know what else. I mean, this is glass, but I don't know what, I guess that would be plastic, but look how cool those are. You could put maybe some fairy lights in there. So, yeah, picked up those. Uh, they have their initial, as I call them, uh, pumpkins again this year. But now they came up with a couple of different shapes in that. So we have the orange. I got M for Mowen. And it does come with a galvanized leaf. And look what's on the hanger now. So you don't have to pull them all out and try to find what you're looking for. You just look right up here on the tab. So I got the M in the orange. I got the M in the white. And I got the G in the white as well. These were supposed to go to um, some family members, but uh, they're no longer together right now. So so these are probably going to get donated or I'll just hang on to them and see what the future holds. Um, so yeah, long story. Lots been going on in this family for the past couple of months. It's been crazy. Um, so I showed you that, that, oh, and this, I got this for my oldest daughter. Their last name starts with a B. So I got Adeline and her husband, Alex, this one, which is new, like at the, the gift tag as I like to call it. So pick that up. 
Um, they have a new paint brush there at the Dollar Tree. It is a for latex paints, interior and exterior projects. Uh, it's a three inch, 100% polyester. But look how big that thing is. So pretty. I mean, I wouldn't do a real fancy wall with this or anything. I would probably do like if you're doing maybe some art projects or something that doesn't have to have really fancy brushes. But yeah. Pick that up pretty good size for a dollar twenty-five. Can't beat that. Because I never reuse my paint brushes after I use them for a long period of time for a large project. Um, I think they do have these in other colors, but when I found this one, it was the only one left, and it's orange. So I just went ahead and got this one, but it's a Halloween glitter fern. Look how big that is. I think this will be really cute for a background, a backdrop of some sort on any of your um, Halloween decor. So yeah, or you know, if this is orange, so I mean, you could probably do it for fall too, right? It don't have to be for Halloween, I don't think. Um, this, this is Earth Supplied Mango Butter Body Cream with Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. It's 16 ounces. And it smells actually pretty good. It says directions, smooth on generous amount of hand on hands and body. Give special care to rough or dry areas like elbows and knees. Reapply as needed. And it smells actually smells good. I'm just not thrilled about stuff at any store for that matter that doesn't have like the paper seal or foil. It's just open where anyone can do whatever they want to it. I don't know, but it smells really, really good. So yes, body cream. See, my necklace is all twisted up, is it? I'm not used to wearing stuff like this, so I'm sure it's all twisted up. And this shirt, I got it from American Eagle. I got to do American Eagle clothing haul. I've been finding some really cute um, clothes there, but I don't want to stand all the way up but it's just like, it's got different, different prints in that. I just, I hate my chest. Don't even go there. No. Oh yeah. That's just another, another issue. Um, okay. These are some other napkins I picked up at the Dollar Tree. You get 14 per pack. They are 11.75 by 15.75. Again, you can cut these out, mop podge them on different items and make some really cute, home decor with these. So like those. They had a couple of different colors of these. Uh, they called beakers. I went ahead and picked up the purple one. It says poison. And again, these do, you can um, scrape these off and do something else if you want to add your own word, or you can just flip it over and do something else if you want to. And you could probably, you can always cut the stem too, but you know, that looks a little awkward. Um, so I don't think that'll work. Got that. I love these books. They usually come in four different sizes. Um, this one is Spells, Curses, and is it Hexes? But this is the uh, box book, box book. So you can keep it shut or you can open it up and have stuff coming out of it if you want to. Again, they come in a few different sizes. The other one I picked up, I think this is the next size down. Yeah, this one is the Dr. Halloween's Poisons. So that is the next size down. So let me put that side by side so you can see. So I think these are cool. Okay, I might have to take this off because it's driving me nuts. So I am going to rip this off, maybe. I had a heck of a time getting it on. There we go. <gasps> okay. Um. This just reminded me of like a retro. This is a candle holder, like a tea light holder. But I'm wondering if you like you put a tea light maybe on this and then you could flip it over and do a candle stick. What do you think? I don't know. I don't have no candle sticks to try it, but I don't know. This kind of reminds me of retro feel. So grab that. Oh, here's a couple other signs I'm going to share with you. I thought this one was cute. It says, welcome to our patch. It does have the twine and some straw with a little tin, very thin tin leaf. But it's one of their long ones. Not as long as they've had in the past. 
but these are always cute to prop. You can maybe prop on a shelf and do some decorations around it, or if you want to hang it, you can hang it. The other one, I thought this one was really cool. This is going to be, I'm going to put the books and the little beaker next to this one. This one says, welcome. And I like all the different potion bottles. So grab that. And the other one, which I think is really cool, which I think they should do this a lot more often, is they have one sign, but you can change it up. How cool is that? This one says welcome with the, some spiders and then you flip it over and it says trick or treat with the skull and some bats in the shape of a casket. So how cool is that? Double sided. Yes. Now we're talking. They also have these silicone molds, baking molds. So this one has four different items. I'm going to try to use resin in these. And I know some people used uh, different kinds of hot glue in these and, of course, candy, cupcake mix, cookie mix, all that kind of fun stuff. So we shall see how that turns out. That's probably going to be a mess. Um, I'm going to try these. These are the loop bags with twist ties. They are 5 inch by 11.5 and you get 20 of them. There's a little twist ties, but I'm not going to need those. I think the dogs are really cute. I'm going to see how easy it is to cut some of these dog shapes out and glue them. This is paper. Glue them on something and just see because they have the wiener dog, which my daughter has a wiener dog. Her name's Winnie. And then there's a corgi, which my oldest daughter has two corgis. And there's a Frenchie, and of course I have a French Bulldog. And I don't see a Boston Terrier on here, but we almost had all the dogs taken care of. But yeah, just cut them out and do other things with them. They did have a little bit smaller snack bags, but I don't know. I'm going to try that out. We shall see. And that's even if I get to it. Um, the Crafter Square Flexible Stencils. Now, in the past, they were at, um, they had adhesive ones, which I know you can buy the adhesive and spray it on there and all that stuff, but I like it how you can just buy it and it has the adhesive already on it. But I am going to try these because I like how you have different choices. And I like, I, I call it the brick. And I don't know. We're going to try it. Let's see. See, that's what it looks like on the back. So they always have a great variety of different stencils to choose from, but yeah, I'm going to try that and see how well that turns out. Which that leads me to these. These are the Crafter Square Iron-On uh, paper thingy maneuvers, and they are 12 inch by 12 inch. Perfect DIY. Create your own style on your favorite t-shirts, hats, and other fabrics. And I went with the fluorescent colors. Now, if you're just looking for this, just look for the iron because if your Dollar Trees are anything like mine, they have hundreds and hundreds of these things lining up everywhere. And it's kind of hard to pick and choose on what you're looking for. So just look for that iron if that is what you're really going after. I also bought it in the fluorescent green, the fluorescent yellow, and the fluorescent orange, which would be great for Halloween. And the other color I went with was the glitter, which you can use for whatever. Don't know about iron on glitter, but we shall see how well that works. And then I picked up the transfer tape. I think the other transfer tapes that I bought from the Dollar Tree are like the little things, but now they have it in the big one. This is a 12 inch by 36 inch. Again, it's the transfer tape. Easily transfer your vinyl designs to a, a variety of project surfaces uh, for use with most vinyl types. Not recommended for glitter or shimmer vinyl. Okay. And then the other one I have, again, this one, I have it in the small roll, but now they have it in the 12 inch and 24. And this is the vinyl paper, the vinyl paper etched glass. So, grab that. Oh, hi, boozers. Do you come back in? 
Okay, and the last item. I can't believe I got everything in here. I had to go, 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 go. The last item I picked up is the In Wash Fragrant Booster. I have not tried this scent. This is the Moonlight scent. It's a 10.5 ounce. And you just throw this in your washer or you can put it in some tea light holders if you want and have it as a air freshener that way. Um, you can put it in a, a small little vase, put a fake flower in there, add some of this. And again, it could be a decor in a uh, air freshener. Let's see what it smells like. I don't think I've smelled this yet. Ooh, it smells like candy. Like that dip sugar stuff. You take the sugar stick and you dip it in the sugar and you eat it. That's what it smells like. Hmm. That makes me want candy. But that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. You don't have to watch all of my videos that I post. You can pick and choose on what you want. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload a video, be sure you hit that little bell. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, <laughs> beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.